hindsight, this probably isn't the best day to film. Um, a, I'm not doing anything, and B, the dog's not very well, so I'm not in the best mood. Um, you will have just seen a few clips of we made crepes for breakfast this morning. I didn't get very much footage because there's too many people in the kitchen. We were just all getting on top of each other, um, the family. And we were just chatting and stuff, so there was literally nothing to film. Um, but I showed you mine. I just had lemon and sugar. I had two. And then I went to the post office to take back some parcels, some ASOS parcels. And then I went to the shop. I want to tidy my room up a bit and change my bed sheets. And maybe I'll have a pamper evening. I feel like all you guys see is have. You see, like, oh my god. I hate my hairline. My brother this morning was like, why does it do this where it's all like bitty? I'm like, um, yeah, I feel like all you guys see is me have pamper evenings, but that's just what I want to do, you know? What the fuck else is there to do in lockdown than treat yourself? So maybe I'll, I've been talking for seven minutes, but fuck all. Dog's ill, I want to go walk. I've got a bit of college work to do, but I don't know if I can bother doing it today. I will do it today. Um, maybe a pamper evening, tidy up. sensational today right um i'm just having a tidy up um of my room just you guys will just see i clean my um uh, change my sheets and now i'm just kind of pouring i've got so much um rubbish just like packaging and stuff from parcels that I need to sort out. Um, I need to go to the post office tomorrow to return some stuff. I have an exciting parcel coming tomorrow, which you guys will see in one of my next videos. I think the last time I talked to you guys before tonight was like yesterday morning. Um, I got back from the shops and I chatted to you guys for a little bit. Um, so I haven't filmed much yet of this vlog, mainly because the dog isn't ill. Belle and my dog, if anyone knows her, is not well at the moment we're hoping it's just a cold and that she will get better but this is the third day um it's it started on friday it's now sunday it's half seven she's not doing too groovy but we won't we won't keep speaking about it um i got a cult beauty order yesterday in uh with a few a few things i got a replacement of this is a run of I've had a small one of this before and then I bought the big one and then this is my third bottle um of the ordinary buffet multi technology peptide serum I just really like it as it, it just it's quite cheap it's about 12 pounds I think for this small bottle and then it's 24 for the big one it's a really nice easy it hasn't reacted to my skin it's not greasy or anything it's just a nice all-rounder kind of serum um, I think it's got some hyaluronic acid and niacinamide and stuff in it, which I've got them all separately as well, but that one I just like for, for ease and just I can use it all the time. I also wanted to try, I've got two new things to try out. Christ! i got two new things to try out for after I'm, I'm still using Tropic every day. I've been using it for um, just over a week now, I think. And I will leave the review for the next video. This isn't isn't it? I'm on my period at the moment and she's she's having a moment. The skin is having a moment. 
Um, so I'm gonna try out the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm because I've heard everyone rave about it. I mean, everyone and their fucking dog has been speaking about this. So it's a big, it's a big tub. It's 150 mils, and I think it was a tenner. Um, and it says it use AM PM gently massage a small amount onto damp and face and neck. Rinse thoroughly with water. Follow with prepared serums and moisturizers. So, oh, leave on for 10 minutes as a nourishing face mask. I like, so you can see from me, it's like a thick, oily balm. Balm? Balm? And that's what I like for my first cleanse. So, first cleanses that I like that you might, that these are kind of similar to is like um, the Elemis one, the, what I'm currently using is the Clinique Take the Day Off. I'm on my second one of that. Um, just like a oil based, really breaks down the makeup as a first cleanse. And then I'll go in with something a bit lighter or the foamy or a foaming product to really cleanse my skin as my second cleanse. Anyway, the last thing that I got is from Glow Recipe and it is their Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturiser. I just got the little one to try out. What I don't like is because the bottle's such a funny shape, the label on the back wants to come off like every time I grab it, listen, like it's loose because it doesn't want to stick. It just feels a bit cheap, but I mean, it wasn't that expensive. I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't it wasn't crazy. It's a really lightweight moisturizer. It almost feels like a serum, but I just kind of want products that are good for my sensitive skin and lightweight, hydrating. Mainly hydration is what I'm going for. All three of these said they were good for hydration. So good. Um, what else do I have to update you guys on? I can't find my lip balm. And if you guys have been here for the last few videos, you will know that I am obsessed with um, the Bobbi Brown lip balm. I can't find it anywhere. I'm having to use that fucking shitty one that I made in that video. Uh, that is literally just oil. It's just like putting oil on your lips. Anyway, I'm fucking blabbing. But I start classes again tomorrow. So I did some work today while I've literally just spent the whole of today on the sofa with the dog. I walked her at about 10 and she hasn't got off the sofa since. She went out, I managed to get her in the back garden um, to do a pee and have a drink of water and then she's come back in. She hasn't moved, bless her. Bless her little cotton socks off. I got one of these cups, I actually got two of them. I feel like a basic white bitch. I'm so excited to get into this bed. Can you guys see it? And I'm still burning my white company candles, like my little vision board. I keep having to consciously look at it because it's in the corner there, but I don't really have anywhere else to put it. Mum, this was my mum's room before we did the whole rejig thing, and she's like, don't put anything on the walls. Because this is her, they wallpapered this like a year ago, and my mum and dad love this wallpaper. <laughs> I don't mind it, it's just not my vibe. Weird little thing to bring up, but if anyone's tried this deodorant, or if anyone needs a deodorant, get this one. It's the Dove Nourishing Secrets Glowing Ritual 48-hour uh, antiperspirant with lotus flower and rice water scent. It's phenomenal. This is what it looks like. It's got like a pink lotus flower. That's my tattoo's lotus flower. Little fun fact of the day if anyone didn't know I had a tattoo. Well, I guess where it is. I'm joking. It's on my ankle. I got the one I was. I got one when I was drunk with matching with my friend Sophie. Bet you she won't fucking watch this. We'll just leave it there and then if she messages me. Sophie, message me if you've watched this. Bet she hasn't. I'm joking. Okay, this is a big jacket. I just finished classes for the day. Apologies, they look fucking horrific. Um, I have been in classes since nine. It is now ten past four. Um, I had a four hour class this morning and then I had an hour for lunch. I didn't actually get a chance to eat because um, I was doing some other work and then I had to do the dishes and stuff. Anyway, I had another two hour class and now I am off to Tesco. I need to get a few, th I need to get some stuff for, for us, like some food. And then I'm gonna package up those parcels for my friends this evening and ship them off um, tomorrow morning. This is unreal. Look how big this fucking go is. Oh, look, there's a fester on the Adams family. 
Um, and what else do I need? And then I'm gonna get some ingredients and bake some of those cookies that Grac I did on the Grackle Bake Along video. The double chocolate chip cookies and take some to my friend who's just, um, I feel like she could do with some cheering up at the moment. So, and she just lives a couple streets along. I'm gonna drop some off there. I actually might make a double batch, drop some off to her and drop some off to some other people that live in my town that are my friends. I'll show you guys when I'm back and show you guys what I got. Bit from this shop. So I think they had four of these. These I find these in the aisle with the bread and that, and I wanted to try them. Um, yeah, I think there was. F oh, I thought. Hold collar. <laughs> Safe. This one. So this one just says with cocoa filling. They're like a big croissant. It says seven days. I assume that means it lasts seven days. Croissant. Croissant. Um, this one just has chocolate on the inside. This one is chocolate. It says double coconut and chocolate filling. There was a chocolate and cherry. And then there's what I thought was the plain one, but that seems like the plain one. So I don't know, man. It smells good. Brioche. Yeah. <laughs> this one feels like it has a lot more in it. So what was it? This one was the coconut one. Oh yeah, because that's the... Your no, bread, bread's quite dry. Mm -hmm. I fucking love coconut. Real taste of coconut. I wouldn't say it's better than those little ones though. So. Okay, you want to try this one? That's better Brilliant. because it's more filling, so it makes it more moist. Yeah, it's pretty good. Super sweet. Mm. I like it. A perfect pre dinner snack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna have dinner. Dog's doing better, by the way. She's basically fine today. Um, mm -mm. I'm gonna bake those cookies for my friend and then we're going to put together those boxes bye okay right it's a few hours later me and jason have had dinner um and then i ended up f on facetime with my friend for like two three hours so oops I haven't made the cookies yet. I'm gonna make them tomorrow morning and then they'll be fresh and I'll drop them around at my friends. Um, and I've got a card and things for her. So, what I've done is got some tissue paper. I thought this was quite cute. Um, like mint green tissue paper. I've got lots of boxes. Um, oh, I've got lots of little boxes like this. Um, and I'm gonna put together a few little care packages for a couple of my friends. I'll just show you guys what I'm gonna put in them. This video is gonna go up before they've got them. So, but then I haven't told anyone that I'm sending one, obviously. So, um, I bought a bottle of castor oil. I don't know if I put it in a video, actually. And I bought these um, empty mascara bottles from Amazon and I filled the other ones up as well. And I'm, ooh, and I'm gonna send them the other ones because I mean I've got spare ones. Um, I also have these um, from my buying my Insta ads video, the little lip balms. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put them in because they're not great. I'm sure I've already put it on in this video before. Look, I've got my little one here, and it is quite oily. Like, yeah. I mean, it works, and I'm just gonna put it in as like a little joke because I made it in the video. They can just have a little memento from the video. I'm gonna send those. I've got everyone a face mask. Um, that chocolate is for me. <laughs> Some mint dark chocolate. That's the card. So I got myself two of these to put because I've told you guys a million times that these are my favorite masks. So I bought some more of those, and then I've bought four simple de-stress sheet masks. I felt like everyone could use a de-stressing a de-stressing one. So I got four of those to put in there and then I got some sweeties. So I got everyone a Lindor bar. 
because I know they're Sophie's favourite and I like them. And then I got a big packet of Haribos, put some Haribos in, of the mini packets. Um, and then I also got some of these, these like um, 99 calorie snicker bars. I thought I could put like one or two in each box. So I'm just going to make them up a little care package, just a little few things, write them a nice note and then post it. which I can start packing them up into. Right, so now that I have popped tissue paper into each of them, and there's bubble wrap at the bottom, and I'm just gonna pop, so this one I'll have a face mask, a castor oil, a lip balm, a Lindor. Pop one of those in there. Pop some Harry Rose. I'll pop two packets, two packets of Haribos in, you can never have enough Haribos. And a little Snickers. Cute. And then I'm gonna, I'll hand write a note, and I'm not gonna show you guys that, and I'll just explain the product and, um, and write a cute little note. And then send them all a little. So, we're not using the tissue paper then, I guess. So a face mask, um, a castor oil, a lip balm, my battery's dying, um, a chocolate, 